Hi everybody, I'm Jay Fenichel. In this lesson, we're going to break down the groove to Want to Be Starting Something, which is a Michael Jackson song, originally recorded by J.R. Robinson. Uh, fantastic groove, and the reason we're doing this song is a student had come to me and said that he had to perform it with a cover band, and he wasn't exactly sure how to break down the groove. Uh, when I went back to learn it myself, I realized that it's got some pretty cool things happening. Now, we're going to learn it to kind of emulate what's happening on the recording. If you listen to the recording, there's a shaker keeping a 16th note and you know the extra hi-hat in there, so it really makes the separation nice and happening. But there's a way to execute this live just using some good hi-hat technique. Now basically what I want to talk about is how to make the accents on the hi-hat very, very clear. And one way to do that is either to use the tip of the sticks on the meat of the cymbal up here, and then the meat of the stick, which is down below the tip, on the edge of the hi-hat, down here. And basically that shift back and forth is going to make very, very clear accents on your hi-hat. Now I want you to keep the hi-hat nice and tight because you have to simulate those hi-hat accents along with that shaker sound. Now while you do this, you also have to be mindful of putting your backbeat on beat two and four to the snare drum and keeping it super consistent. One thing about J.R. Robinson as far as a session player is he's amazingly consistent. His backbeat and pocket is super deep, which means that he's just got such a great feel. Uh, it's never usually anything crazy technical, it's just a great groove and a great pocket. And that's what you have to make happen with this particular groove. Now in addition to that, there's a little bit of coordination between your bass drum and that hi-hat part. Because it works like a loop, and now you have that syncopated bass drum part against a very non-syncopated hi-hat part and you're trying to make the dynamics happen. So it proves to be a little bit of a coordination issue, and it's a lot of fun to work out. Let's start by just working out the hi-hat part. In this first example, we're just going to start with the hi-hat and practicing going between our four accents on one E and a, and then filling out the rest of the measure, adding the quiet notes with the tip of the stick on the meat of the cymbal. So let's give that a shot. Next what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a backbeat to that. So now you're going to keep your dynamics the same. You're going to have your meat of the stick accents against your tip of the stick non-accents and then move to the snare drum on every backbeat and try to make that happen. The next step is to work out that coordination between our hi-hat accents and the bass drum. So what we're going to do is just play the bass drum part and the first part of the hi-hat together and see how they link up. Let's give that a shot. Finally, our next step, we're going to add our bass drum part with our hi-hat part and fill out the entire measure. So now you have your dynamics against the hi-hat and the pattern that's syncopated on the foot, and we're going to put those two aspects on top of each other. Finally, our last step is to add the backbeat to the finished groove and play it nice and slow. Let's just practice executing that 
over and over again until it feels natural and comfortable at this slow tempo. Okay, so a quick lesson on a very, very cool groove, which proves to be a little bit tricky in terms of the coordination. So now you really have to resolve those accents against the bass drum part, the syncopation, and keeping the pocket nice and smooth. Very, very cool groove and very interesting idea of layering in a loop style. Remember, work on the pocket, keep it nice and relaxed, and you'll sound great. So that's going to wrap up our lesson on Want to Be Starting Something. Again, J.R. Robinson, it's a great groove. You should definitely check it out. And once again, if you have problems with any of this technique in terms of coordination, that's something we work on a great deal at thedrummersalmanac.com. So definitely go visit the website and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys there.